110 miles north of Westlaco is Kingsville, where two former Westlaco ISD greats are now proud Havelinas playing on Saturdays for Texas A&M Kingsville. That Westlaco, Eastlaco combination. Carlos Cuellar and Tommy Chavez played for rival schools, but have shared the field as teammates for the last three years at the college level, where tradition is rich. They might have gone to high school at different parts of town, but the respect and friendship was always there. Now, there's a bigger bond playing together. So every time we lift, we'd lift together, or we'd go somewhere, we'd go together. On the bus, we're next to each other. It's cool, man, because, you know, we could both relate. We're from the same town. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to put on for Westlaco. Pitch out coming wide. Guayad was a dominant offensive tackle for Westlaco East and was a big part of the Wildcats' emergence as a Valley power, paving holes for running backs in route to championships. Nice hit. Meanwhile, Chavez was a hard-hitting, punishing linebacker for Westlaco High. His aggressiveness helped a Panther defense finish among the best in South Texas and was a member of two district titles. Now, Guayad is a starting nose tackle while Chavez contributes as a flex linebacker. Oftentimes, Chavez lines right behind Cuellar in the formation. So now, like both of us together, we're used to a winning tradition. So now we want to keep it going. And coming to a beautiful campus like this, where the atmosphere is great, it's just, it's a great feeling. They take to coaching. They're tough kids. Uh, they do what they're coached to do. And so, you know, you can do things with kids that are like that, that are, are very coachable. Ready. While the team is preparing for a big game on Saturday against Angelo State, don't think for a second Chavez and Cuellar have forgotten about the big game back home, the Naco Bowl number six. This is a social event in the city of Westaco. Chavez was a senior in the inaugural the Naco Bowl. Even playing in front of thousands at the college level, he says Westaco High, Westaco East experience is the most intense game he was ever a part of. Both sides went wild clapping and it was just, it was emotional but it was just electrifying. We had just electric in our, our veins. Guayat, however, missed the game by one year. I won't say it bothers me, but I really wish I could have been part of history. But that doesn't mean both can enjoy a discussion or debate about the intra-city rivalry. Every once in a while, I'll pull it up on my phone and I'll be like, hey man, check, check out this cool video and its highlights of of that 24-0 whooping. He'll say, I would have pancaked you, or I would have taken you, I'm like, man, like, it's, it's nice to think that you would have got to me, but you probably wouldn't have. I was like, you're big, but I was a lot faster. Strapping up next to you, hey. I got a band I can depend on always, hey. hometown. As much as both would love to be in attendance for Friday's Dinaco Bowl, cheering for their alma mater, they are still proud to carry the Westlaco banner at the College Gridiron as teammates. For KOS TV, I'm Mike Gonzalez. Still on his feet, five, touchdown!